Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about the visibility rule. We're going to talk about the visibility rule of 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. To start with, let's have this. If the larger number can be divided or split into equal parts using a small number, then the larger number is divisible by the smaller number. So let's say you have 225. If you can divide it equally into five, then 225 is divisible by five. We use rules of divisibility to help us to determine the number if it can be divided by the given number without calculating the quotient. Basically, we use the rules of divisibility for mental uh, math activities. Let's start with divisibility by two. A number is divisible by two if the number can be divided exactly by two and it ends with zero, two, four, six, and eight. Basically, it's an even number. So here are some examples. Look at 32,460. It ends with two, with zero. So it's an even number. So it's divisible by two. Then we have 364,258. The last digit is eight, so it's divisible by two. So 1,812,300 ends in zero, so it's an even number. It's divisible by two. A number is divisible by five. If the number can be divided exactly by five, and it ends with zero or five. So 16,325 ends in five, so it's divisible by five. 364,250 ends in zero, it is divisible by five. Then 1,812,200 ends in zero, it is divisible by five. If it's divisible by two, it must be even. And if it's divisible by five, the last digit must be zero or five. The next divisibility rule is divisibility by 10. Now, a number is divisible by 10 if the number can be divided exactly by 10 and it ends with zero. Okay, let's have our examples. 21,370 ends in zero, so it's divisible by 10. 361,780, it ends in zero, so it, it's divisible by 10. 1,941,500 ends in zero, so it's divisible by 10. A number is divisible by 25. If the number can be divided exactly by 25, and the last two digits is 25, 50, 75, or double zero. So let's have 16,325. Look at the last two digits. It's 25. Therefore, 16,325 is divisible by 25. 364,250, and the last two digits is 50, so it's divisible by 25. 1,812,200 has a double zero at the end, so it is divisible by 25. Got it? So it's divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. It's divisible by 25 if the last two digits is 25. It's divisible by 50 if the number can be divided exactly by 50 and it ends with 50 or double zero. So the last two digits must be 50 or double zero. So 24,350 is, uh, the last two digits is 50, so it is divisible by 50. 421,700, uh, 41,700 has two, has double zero at the end, so it's divisible by 50. 1,651,100 has double zero at the end, so it's divisible by 50. 
It's divisible by 100 if the number can be divided exactly by 100 and the last two digits is double zero. So 16,300, 364,700, 1,812,200, all ends in the last two digits with double zero. So they are all divisible by 100. Now let's try to check whether you understand the lesson. You can pause the video to answer this for a minute, and then you can uh, write your answer and check your answer with me later on. Okay. Now let's try. For letter A, we have 16, uh, 6,750. Letter B, we have 47,365. For letter C, we have 3,678,100. And for letter D, we have 7,235,640. So if you're going to look at this last digit, it ends in zero. So if a number ends in zero, it is divisible by two. It is also divisible by five, and it's also divisible by 10, right? Now for 25, 50, and 100, let's try to look at the last two digits. It's 50, so it's divisible by 25. It's also divisible by 50, but it's not divisible by 100. Why? A number is divisible by 100 if you have double zero at the end, right? Okay, uh, you have double zero on the last two digits. Now let's have the letter B. For, let's have letter B, 47,365. The last digit is five. So it's not divisible by two. However, it is divisible by five, but not by 10. Because for 10, the last digit must be zero. Now for 25, let's check the double, the last two digits, it's 65. So it's not divisible by 25 because for 25, it must be 25, 50, 75, and double zero. What about 50? No, for 50, you have 50 and double zero. What about 100? Can we divide letter B by 100? No. Okay, what about letter C? 3,678,100. The last digit is zero. So it is divisible by two because it's even, right? and it's divisible by five and also by 10. Now to check the last two digits, we have double zero. So it is divisible by 25, by 50 and by 100. Okay. Now let's check letter D, 7,235,640. It ends with zero, so it's divisible by two, by five and by 10. Now let's check the last two digit, 40. It's not divisible by 25. It's not divisible by 50. And also not divisible by 100. So to check with this, two, five, and 10, you must always look at the last digit, right? You must have to check the last digit. Check the last digit. But for uh, 25, 50, and 100, you have to check the last, last two digits, okay? So these are basically the thing that we need to take care of. So we have to check this uh, in every time we're going to use divisibility. So whether we're, we're going to, Check the number if it's divisible by 2, 5, 10, and 25. All right, is this clear? Now let's have this case. Decide which statements are true and which are false, then give your reason. First, we have 72,561 is divisible by 2. True or false, and then why? First, the answer is false. Why false? Okay. For the visibility of two, we need to look at the last digit. The last digit is two. So it is not divisible by two because it's not an even number. Or it, is, it doesn't end with zero, two, four, six, eight. Let's go to letter B. 
365 is divisible by 5. True or false? True. Why? Because it ends with 5. Next. 632,250 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. True or false? True. Why? The last digit is 0. So a number ends with 0 can be divided by 2, can be divided by 5, and can be divided by 10, exactly without a remainder. So it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Now for letter D, we have 356 point, this time it's not a thousand, it's point 420, uh, 356.420 is not divisible by 2510. Okay, be careful. The word is not divisible. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Because even though it's a decimal number, we have to look at the last digit. The last digit ends in zero. So if the last digit ends in zero, it is, it will tell us if it is divisible by two, five, and 10. Okay, it's still, it is divisible by two, five, and 10. So 356.420 is divisible by two, five, and 10. Any question? Now let's have some number sense problem. Okay. I have these cards. Okay. Fatima used these cards to make four digit even numbers that are divisible by both five and 10 and by 10. First, you have to look at this and try to check which divisibility falls on this. So it should be divisible by five and by 10. So basically, we all need to have a number that ends with zero. So we can mix up other digits and use it to create four digit numbers. So these are my first set. So what are the possible numbers? So these are the possible numbers. 8,520, 8,510, 8,150, 8,250. Or I can have 5,280, 5,180, 5,210, 5,810. Also, I can have 2,510, 2,510,2,580,2,180,2,580. Okay, let's have another problem solving. Okay. Mr. Mahadi gathered 3,820 dates in his farm. He wants to put this in boxes. What are the possible number of boxes where he can keep the dates equally? So let's try to analyze the problem first. So he has 3,820 number of dates in his farm, okay? So this is the fruit, no? Uh, you know, Bahrain is best in dates. No, I like their dates. It's very sweet. It is divisible by 2, 5, and 10 since the last digit ends in 0, right? So if you are Mr. Mahadi, you can uh, put it in boxes by in 2 boxes or in 5 boxes or in 10 boxes. So remember, these are the possible numbers of boxes that he can make. Now, you can also uh, decide if I am Mr. Mahadi, I'm going to use 10 boxes because I can share it to 10 people or it's very easy to put, to put it in 10 boxes so that you can carry it easily, right? Do you have any more questions? Now you can work on with your exercises in your uh, book. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and please watch this video and don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel.